Um, art was always my favourite subject in the year 12, and it was definitely the hardest. Um, I realised pretty early on that I was most interested in art that involved people. Not necessarily um, portraiture in the old school sense, but I just felt I could connect better to art that had people in it, um, and I felt I enjoyed drawing them more than, <laughs> say, landscapes or a new still life. Um, themes in this piece, they kind of reflect what I was caught up with at the time. I was doing uh, mostly art units and they all kind of found this way of overlapping with themselves. So in history I'd be studying, we were doing the Russian Revolution. Um, in media we were watching this really sad Russian film called The Live Forever um, and Larry Clark films. In English we were, um, we were reading The Road and all this kind of post-apocalyptic fiction. Um, and it all had this really kind of gloomy feel to it, um, and I guess it came out in these kids. <laughs> um, there was this kind of idea of tragic beauty um, in it, all the documentaries we were watching, um, and I guess that was really inspired me to have this as the main theme of my work. Um, yeah, I always knew I wanted to paint youth, but not in the way I guess that our society was used to it. The fact that I don't know. For me, I see the biggest issues in our society for youth, kind of like binge drinking, um, I don't know, teen pregnancy, uh, that kind of thing. It just didn't seem that much of a bigger deal compared to what these kids who were studying were going through. So I kind of wanted to reflect that. Um, and these, I guess, they're just the characters I chose to kind of, I don't know, um, represent that, I guess, to kind of convey that. Um, and then I kind of took a step back and I realised that, yeah, I had a bunch of sad looking kids and it doesn't really convey what I was trying to say exactly. Like, I know, I know what they mean to me and my connection with them, but it's kind of hard to explain that, so that's where the title came in. Um, I'm not really a religious person and, yeah, I'm not religious at all, but Year 12 English kind of taught me to appreciate the power of biblical imagery, especially reading the road. There was all these biblical allusions. I think it made it more of a powerful text, so I kind of wanted to use that um, in art. For me, um, the lions and the lambs aren't sleeping yet. It kind of says, it's just another way of saying that things aren't fair yet in the world. There's a great deal of unbalance. And yeah. Um, so I started out with six characters, but only four of them have survived. I'm kind of, I don't actually mind that so much anymore. They've kind of formed this kind of family unit. Um, they, I don't know, they kind of protect each other in a way. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but yeah. Um, first we have Neva. She started out looking really childlike and really innocent, and somehow she's turned into this kind of defensive character. She, yeah, um, to me she's still kind of the mother figure. She kind of like protects the, other, um, the others, but in a way she kind of excludes outsiders, if that makes any sense. Uh, next is Casper. He was actually the most fun the way he came about. Um, I was lucky. I just needed one more boy and I didn't have him in the people I knew. I couldn't just draw him. So I grabbed my friend and we went to the city um, with a camera and we kind of, not stalked people, but we kind of, yeah, <laughs> asked people if they were willing to have their photo taken for artistic purposes. And yeah, this guy turned out the best, so he got the job. Um, Next is Sebastian. He's actually my friend's baby brother. He has the most amazing blue eyes. Um, so yeah, that's why he got in here. I had a kind of trouble drawing him because he's so young. I've never drawn people who are that young and it's kind of hard to get... I don't know, to me he looks older than four in the way I've done him, but yeah. First time for everything, I guess. Um, and then there's Yuri, I guess. Um, he, he kind of fits as the father figure, but he kind of, he kind of seems a bit vacant to me, like he's on drugs or something. I don't know, it's like his eyes don't, I don't know, all the others seem to be looking at me, but he, I don't know, he seems a bit lost. So yeah, that's the characters. Um, as far as processes go, I was kind of making it up as I went. My first semester work had been wood, um, and it was quite a struggle, because I, I didn't know how to work colour on wood properly, so they were, they were all kind of black and white. And they all kind of had this kind of zombie feel to them because there was just no colour in them. I didn't know how to work colour. Um, but hopefully, yeah, these guys are kind of building on that. Um, 
The reason I chose Wood mainly is because my favourite contemporary artist, Audrey Kawasaki, she um, has this amazing way of drawing women, um, kind of stylized, and she always does them on wood, so I wanted to give that a shot. And also, I have a lot of trouble working on canvas, I'm just not a good conventional painter. And the kind of, it's kind of um, smooth texture, it's just easier for me to get the lines I want. And yeah, and also, um, the natural tones of the wood, they seem to kind of fill in the blanks of the skin tones and stuff. So I don't have to spend time doing the skin tone, which I'm just no good at. I can just focus on the bits that I enjoy, such as the eyes and the mouth. Um, and yeah, um, to get them on there, I just I had done about six sketches, and I printed them onto plastic. Um, so you'd be able to use an overhead projector to kind of get the sketches up there. Um, it's actually the hardest bit for me because there's we had this. Um, uh, projector from the 70s and it was really shaky, uh, really frustrating and even with a good projector you only have um, one chance to get it up there, you'll never get it in the same position again and I guess that's where the other two got kind of culled because yeah they just distorted and I couldn't really find a way to fix them so yeah that's how I guess I ended up with four and then after that um, I sealed it so I'd always have the marks I needed there and I could just paint and build up on it um, and then I guess the white paint is the bit that went on first because I can build up tone with the white and then the rest is just watercolour and it just goes over in kind of layers um, and then the last step was um, the pen which is actually my favourite part because I just feel most comfortable with pen and sketching so yeah that's how they all came together.